Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Jojo Delicious here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So let's get right into it. I hope my nippy dippies are not okay, they're not out. Um, y'all, I don't know why this little top thing is coming out more blue than this on camera, but they were the same shade when I put them on. I'm not changing, so y'all just gonna have to talk about me. Anyways, I'm so freaking excited. Today we're going to be talking about body cream. We're going to be doing a top 10 body cream list for today. And I'm like so excited. I can't wait to just dive right into it. I'm not going to go too, too in depth about each one because I don't want this to be like an hour long video. I'm going to do this from least liked to most loved. And if you guys follow me on TikTok or have seen any of my shorts, then I think you know who's coming in at number 10. Coming in at number 10, you guessed it, it is the Josie Marin Vanilla Fig Body Cream. Y'all, I had such high hopes for this that I ordered the big one. Like, look at this. I ordered the big dog one. And ah, so disappointed. Is it me? Am I missing something? Can you guys tell me? why this body cream is so loved because i just can't i don't get it i don't get it i don't get it you can see here oh shoot it's white so you can't really see but look like i used it once and it smells all right like i have to really sorry guys the mailman came i like had to go check if a burglar like broke into my home because why was he barking like that? Like, dogs are insane. So, I don't even remember my train of thought, you guys. But, literally, this body butter is overhyped. Overhyped. And it's in everyone's body care, body cream list. And I don't get it. So, I'm going to try to rub some, just a little bit, on, like, the back of my hand. And it's not bad. Like, it absorbs well. It's, like, hydrating. Gives a subtle glow. Nothing too crazy. Like, that's the thing. It's nothing too crazy. I don't think it's worth $56. Like, it's not. It's not. My issue with this body butter is that nothing stands out about it. I think if I was searching for an unscented body butter, then this would be great. Um, because it's practically unscented, right? And, like, I don't care what anyone says. I don't know if I just got, like, a weaker batch. But, no, this thing hardly, hardly has a scent. Yeah, it's hardly there. Um, but the little bit of scent that is there is very pretty, I will say. It's not a bad body butter. My only gripe with this body butter is the price. I feel like I got duped for the price. I really do. There's hardly a scent there and nothing stands out about the hydration or moisturization <laughs> that it provides. Uh, so this is my hand now as it's dried. You see how it's, it's just, it's so mid. And then they put like ultra hydrating on the bottle. Like it's not. It's not. It's like you see how like my finger isn't gliding on it. It's just like skin now. Honestly, there's no glow anymore. It's literally just back to being skin. Why are y'all obsessed with this? Somebody explain to me. Maybe it's me. If you are sensitive to scents and you have sensitive skin and you don't like being like super hydrated you're not into layering with oils and that sort of thing you don't like to glow all of that you just want to put some lotion on then get this but honestly you can probably get eucerin for like ten dollars and get way better results like i don't get the hype so coming in at number nine is actually like a body butter that i really like it's only number nine because it's going against some top tier butters, okay? I have some really good ones on this list. Uh, it is the Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter. Please don't beat me up, y'all. I know this is a cult favorite. It has a cult following. I love it myself. And it's only $6. You get such, and y'all see, y'all see. I like this. It's almost gone. I like this. Um, it's pretty lightweight. 
I wouldn't suggest this body butter for like the winter time, like when you really need hydration. Like it's not, it's not gonna get you all that. It's a very nice light whipped consistency. And I really feel like this softens my skin more than that Josie Moran. Like it just does. It's, it does. I wish y'all could reach through the camera and like feel the difference. I'm telling you now, this is back to like square one, whereas this is softer. Definitely worth all $6. Okay, so here's the thing. This is $6 and performs better than the Josie Marin. Somebody make it make sense? Why do y'all like that body butter so much? Like I freaking love Trader Joe's. And it has a nice light coconutty scent. So this scent is faint as well. However, it's a little stronger than the Josie Marin. And it's more hydrating for literally a fraction of the price. This is $6 compared to $56. Which one are you choosing? Coming in at number eight, y'all, is the ever so popular, so famous. You all have seen this body lotion all over the internet. It is the EOS Vanilla Cashmere Body Lotion. Y'all don't talk about my bottle. When I literally was taking it out of the box because I ordered it from Ulta, I dropped it. And so the little back part broke, but I was like, wait, does the pump still work? And so I kept it because the pump still works. Y'all, this stuff smells good as hell. Another super affordable one. I bought this for about eight dollars. Um, I think I got it on sale, but it probably retails for ten. Something super affordable. This has a much more fragrant scent of vanilla than the Josie Marin for only eight dollars. Mm. This hydrates better as well, and I'm not just saying that, you guys. I didn't just choose to not like the Josie Marin. As you saw, I bought the big one. I had such high hopes for it. I just knew I would love it, and I'm disappointed. I am. Honestly, I'm going to return it. I actually don't want it. Like, I don't want it. I want my money back. I'm pissed. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I put a little bit on my little wrist. And y'all, it just oh, it sucks right in. It's supple. It's supple. This to this. this, this you see how like, ooh, versus ah. Uh, you know, don't come at me for having little hairy arms, y'all. I am a human. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like this much better. Stronger scent, more moisturizing for a fraction of the price. Stop it. So this one is over top of the Trader Joe's one because it is more hydrating and it's more fragrant. This is actually really, really lovely. I wish they would have just put this as a body cream and put it in a jar. They would have had something crazy on their hands, but uh, it still sells just as good in this container. My only thing is I don't really like ordering lotions that are like the push pump because once the push pump can't push pump no more, there's still a bunch of product just in the bottle that you can't get to unless you're really persistent and you want to like, pop, 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 you, you know, take this off and pop, pop, pop into your hands. But I ain't got time for that. So I wish they would have put this in a jar. Honestly, it would have been much higher up in the list if it was packaged different. But I love this stuff. Super affordable. Get you this. Don't buy the Josie Marin. Get this. Get this. Okay, this is when it starts getting kind of hard. Oh, I will say, I love fragrance. So part of my judging and rating these items is based on how it performs fragrance-wise. Now, the next one coming in at number seven actually doesn't have a strong fragrance, but it still beat the others because the texture of this so good it's by dirty works it's called the big softy and that's what it does to you it makes you soft as hell it's so good y'all look at this look at this i actually got this from tj maxx um in a gift set and i will do a review on that one of these days but love 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 the uh body scrub it came with it is so hydrating it's like mm, chef's kiss i got um a matching body wash as well that came with it 
and I got all three. I think another item was like a part of the set and I got it all for $10. Steal, a steal. So this is coming at number seven, you guys. It does have a scent. It has like a floral, rosy scent. It's very pretty, but it's pretty faint. Um, I'll say it's like a step above the Josie Marin Vanilla Fig um, scent wise, but I don't even care about the scent, okay? This body cream, first of all, it's so thick, but it's not greasy. It doesn't even make you glow or anything, but it softens you up. I don't even know how to describe it, so I'm going to put it here. It absorbs instantly. Like, did y'all see? I wish you guys could reach through and feel, literally feel, how soft it makes you. It's ridiculous. It doesn't give you a glow, like I said. So this is perfect to pair with, like, a body oil or something. If you're looking to look glowy and dewy. But this is going to make you actually really soft. Like, I can't, I don't even know what else to tell you. I don't know what else to tell you guys. I actually love putting this on my feet after I've done my whole body care routine. I gotta add this to my feet. It makes them feel like literally a newborn's bottom. Like, this is some of the best body cream I've ever had touch my skin. It's only at number seven because like I said, I do love a nice fragrant um, body product. That's one and two, uh, it doesn't give you a glow. So it's like, eh, I have better ones. But softening wise, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. If you have eczema, if you have really, really dry skin, get you some of this. Like I'm raving and raving and raving and raving about this. Like, should I move it up the list? It's getting hard, y'all. So number six we have the soap and glory the righteous body butter this has their original pink scent so pretty it's another floral scent oh my god it's so potent so sweet so delicious oh guys and i have the matching body oil what we're gonna talk about that body oil very soon I'm not even going to say too much. Just know we're going to talk about that body oil. I could scream from the Himalayan hills about that body oil. Okay? That's all I'm going to say for now. Y'all just going to have to stay tuned for uh, my upcoming video for that. But I love this body butter, guys. I feel guilty putting it at number six. but I... So, like I said, very fragrant. Beautiful, beautiful scent. It's so delicious. You can kind of see. It's pointless of me trying to show y'all because it's white. You're not going to see it on camera, but I be using this, okay? And I love it. I think it's so pretty to layer with, like, your rose fragrances or just, like, floral fragrances. Um, It's going to really, like, bring out those notes and enhance them. It's very sexy. Uh, I just love it. I actually love the Soap and Glory original scent a lot. I don't like the Call It Fruity um, scent line. I excitedly bought it. I think I bought like the body wash, the body butter, and I was like, Ugh. it it made me nauseous. It's just something about it I didn't like, so it doesn't sit well with me. But the original scent is beautiful. All right, y'all, I'm starting to sweat now. Nah. Number five, <laughs> we have the one, the only. The Sexy Fenty Skin Butter Drop. This is the original, as y'all know. Look at this. And this is a refill. Like, I've already refilled this, I think, three times. This is one of my, like, all-time favorites. Um, it's just I have some other favorites. So that's why it's at number five. I'll be changing up. I'll be changing up. I love that you can just refill it and you get to save a couple of dollars. I don't like that when you refill it, it doesn't really stay put. Like, it pops out very easily, which is good for refilling it. But when you're just trying to put on the lotion, even if you smack it back down and easily, you know, if you, like, move, like, look. Like, better, better design is needed for that. Um, it, it pops up like too easily when it comes to the refills. So that's why it's at number five. And also, I don't know, other ones have won my heart. Y'all, let's talk about this. First of all, it costs less than that Josie Marin. And 
I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all that glow. Dang, I don't know if you can really see. Listen, just hear it from my lips. It's going to give you a glow. It's going to hydrate your skin. It's going to make you supple. This is the body cream to put on for date night. This is the body cream for Netflix and chill. If you want your man to be touching on you, looking at you like, dang, put this one on. This is a sexy, sexy body cream. I live for this stuff, okay? I have the smaller one put on my purse on the go, put in my car, like live for it. It has a pretty floral fragrance. It's not super potent, but it is there. You can smell it and it does linger a little. So I also layer this with any of my floral rosy fragrances uh, just to enhance their notes. Coming in at number four is the limited edition Fenty Skin Butter Drop. Um, I don't even think it has a name, but it's gingerbread, gourmand, vanilla, deliciousness. Um, I love this stuff. This one is a little newer to my collection, so you see it's like not super, super dipped in. And plus, I've been going kind of body lotion, body cream crazy. And so I've just been having a lot to like play with. But this stuff is amazing. And if you guys are scared of glitter, don't be scared of this. I'm a glitter whore. Like, I actually like to glisten this stuff. So I do buy some glitter products. And this hardly has any, okay? <laughs> but um, it still didn't deter me. It still provides you with, like, a sexy... It's very, like, subtle. Very, very subtle glow and dewiness. So I'm going to put it on here. And I want you guys to see that there is really hardly any glitter here you see how it's like whoa look at that skin look at knuckle to knuckle shut up no no this is sexy this is vacation bay this is yacht bay this is first date bay okay you want to glisten across the neck dinner table like mm, i'm not trying at all this is nice i really really like this um I hope she can find it in her heart to keep this as one of the core products. But next holiday season, I'm getting about three. It has such a delicious gingerbread scent. But once again, that design flaw of the refill container. Like this is me just trying to open it back up. It's like once you close it and try to reopen it, it just it holds on to it. It's frustrating a little. You guys, this stuff smells so good. And the scent lingers. I feel like this has a much stronger scent than the original Butter Drop um, Body Butter. I love this stuff. It's so good. Has the same thickness and hydrating properties as the original Butter Drop. And it's just delicious. Like, I love this stuff. And if you own Angel Share by Killian, layer it with this. Layer it with this. Thank me later. We've made it to the top three, you guys. I am so freaking excited. So, okay, these guys are beast mode fragrance wise. That's why they are in my top three. Like, they are delectable, delicious, and they are pretty affordable. And they're not modeled after an actual perfume. So, when we get lotions and body creams that are modeled after perfumes, we expect them to be potent, right? No, these guys are just body butters. Like, they're just regular, regular. I'm just trying to be a body butter. And they have such potent smells. I'm just like, yes, thank you. You guys, I literally cannot understand why people do not talk about this brand more. I don't see it in anybody's, like, body cream videos. And best believe, I have watched just about all of them that exist on YouTube. And it is the C.O. Bigelow uh, brand. They are the same company that makes the Rosebud salve that everyone loves. And I used to use Rosebud years ago, but, you know, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm Laneige or nothing. <laughs> um, joking. I do use Laneige, but I'm a Carmex girl, okay? This is the C.O. Bigelow West Village Rose. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I wish you guys could smell it from, like, the freaking camera. It's so good. And it actually projects on your skin as well. And it's moisturizing. The scent lasts for a while. I have rubbed this on my hands, and I just kept smelling my hands as the day went on. It's crazy. I'll put it right here. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I put anything here yet, but 
See how it goes right in? Oh, it's so nice. It's so potent. I'm telling you guys now. I'm telling you guys now, this is a beautiful rose. If you love rose fragrances, you love rose scents, please get you this. I got it from Saks, but they do have their own website and they um, have the lotion as well. So, get it. Oh my God, it's so good. It's so delicious. You guys, this stuff is so potent and it's only $30. And sometimes you can catch it on sale on Saks. So it's not super cheap. It's not like eight, ten dollars that you'll find in Ulta, but it's cheaper than that freaking Josie Marin. <laughs> and I feel like it performs so much better. Like this is the epitome of a body cream. It's luxurious. It's so nice, and it's not a hundred dollars. It's not really gonna break the bank that much. So. I love this stuff and that's why it's in my top three. Who do we have next coming at number two? I don't know. Well, unsurprisingly, it's another C.O. Bigelow body cream. It is the musk one. Y'all, so I got the rose one first and I was like, oh no, I need to see like about another flavor. <laughs> I was like, I need to see what else they carry. And so I saw the musk one as an option on sex. And so I gave it a try and wow. Oh my God. I don't even really smell musk. I smell cookies. It's literally gourmand, which was not what I was expecting at all. I thought it was going to be like super like strong and like manly or something maybe since it's musk, but it's the exact opposite. It's so sweet and delicious. It smells like sugar cookies. Uh, it has a hint of like gingerbreadiness in there as well. It must have some talking bean or something. This one is so good and should be raved about, like the Fenty limited edition one. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like this one smells better. It does. This one's sweeter, but still has that gourmand vanilla dream scent to it. It's divine. It's absolutely so good. If I didn't own the body cream that's at number one, this would be number one. I put this on and I am like just smelling myself the whole day. It lasts for hours. I would layer this with any vanilla fragrance you have in your collection. or It is going to amplify it times 10,000. This is so freaking good. Once again, 30 bucks. Got it from Saks like what in the world i don't even need to put it on because you guys saw me rub in the rose one but i'll put it on for y'all anyway um let me see let me do my let me do my chest y'all look how gorgeous sinks right in i can smell it from here such a strong scent trail oh, i'm obsessed I'm literally obsessed with this. So guys, number one on the list is from a black owned brand and I love it. This stuff is rising to the top. You're about to start seeing it in department stores. I'm just certain of it because other YouTubers have raved about it. I mean, the stuff is excellent. It's so good. I blind bought it. Hell, I blind bought everything on this list and ended up loving it. So I'm glad I did. Let's make blind buying body lotions a thing. Like, it's so good. Um, this is the Karma Sutra Body Butter from Skin Potions. Ooh, the Karma Sutra Triple Butter from Skin Potions. So freaking good. I got the eight ounce, y'all, y'all. Oh my God, oh my God. This stuff is so good. Now, I will say it was about probably like 50 something bucks. I can't even remember. It was either it was either 50 or 50 something dollars worth every single penny. Y'all, this stuff literally melts into an oil. It gives your body a sexy, luscious glow. The scent, the scent, 
I mean, literally beast mode for hours. And it's a freaking body butter. I don't even get it. I actually don't get it. I don't know how Ray achieved this. But I am so, so in love with this product. I hope to keep it in my rotation forever. Y'all, it is constantly sold out. I will link it, but honestly, good luck to you. <laughs> I will try to update you guys once they restock um, because I do stalk the website because I'm trying to get me some backups on backups on backups. I love this stuff. I put it on to go to a friend's house the other day and I was smelling myself for legitimately hours. It's so good. So I haven't put a huge dent in it because first off, a little goes a long way. I've probably used it around three times now and you see like I didn't put a huge dent in it because this stuff is basically oil. I would compare the scent to Delina Exclusive. It doesn't have that sour note from the rhubarb in Delina, but it does come off sweeter like this Delina Exclusive. It is so freaking good it is in a league of its own it deserves to be number one i'm gonna put some on so you guys can see i'm gonna put some right here on my collarbone do y'all see that it's an oil do y'all see that the little bit i put on i can spread this all over my whole chest basically it's an oil it's so good Oh my god, and then the smell, like, oh my goodness. This stuff, this stuff deserves every trophy accolade that it's going to get. It needs to be in vogue. If you ever wanted to blind buy anything in your life, let it be this. Let it be this. There's no way you'll be disappointed unless you have a sensitive nose and you don't really like fragrances and stuff like that. Well, what are you buying this for? I just told you. Mode body butter. It's so freaking good. If you like scent trails, if you want longevity for your fragrances, if you love layering, get this. It's absolutely divine. One of the best purchases I've ever made, hands down. I love this stuff. And y'all, I have the matching body oil. Don't sweat me. Don't sweat me. I'm going to do a separate review for that. I'm going to do a whole body oil deep dive and I cannot wait. I hope y'all are ready to go into that with me because I'm a body oil addict and I haven't been finding enough videos on them. So I've just been blind buying them and just seeing what happens. And I have been very, very pleased with the results. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me what are some of your favorite body butter slash body lotions. I would love if y'all could put me on because I am so eager to discover more. I'm so happy about the ones I have been discovering. I urge you all, if you take anything away from this video, try the C.O. Bigelow brand um, of body butters and try that Skin Potions Kama Sutra. So freaking good. Thank you to the people who have been subscribing thus far. I really appreciate you guys. I love communicating with you guys. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking my videos. Like y'all are so sweet and I really look forward to delivering more content for y'all. Like I'm telling y'all, the body oil video, y'all not ready. Y'all don't know what I've been buying. Y'all are not ready. So I will see y'all next time. Bye.